guys. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Shelly here. Uh, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And now we're on to New Year. And let's hope we have a good New Year too. Um, I went to a friend's house to deliver some gifts uh, last week. And she had, her husband had made a uh, bird feeder out of a piece of birch that they had. They had cut down some birch that were bending over um, from a storm that we had. He took some of the pieces and he drilled some holes in it and they made up some bird food nuts and peanut butter concoction, mixed it all together and they shove it in the holes and the birds come and get it out like they would you know a tree except for trees don't make peanut butter but whatever <laughs> anyway it's a little peanut butter feeder um, and I thought it was really neat and I'm like oh I gotta share this with you guys because I thought it would be really fun to uh, so you guys could see it so I started drilling holes because I wanted to see how hard it was to do that and I just used my paddle bit um, so if you can see that this is uh, one and three eighths paddle bit and I just lay the the piece of birch down and I just I kind of staggered my holes a little bit like here's a hole here and then I went up just a little bit and there's a hole there and I went way up here and I'm thinking I'm gonna do four so I'm gonna do oh here comes the chickens um, so I think I'm gonna do one up here somewhere and then I'm gonna go back with my drill bit and some dowels, little dowels. And so I'm gonna drill a hole underneath the, the bigger hole that I make. And I'm gonna stick the dowel in for the birds to sit on so that they can stick their head in and get the peanut butter bird seed mix. Um, so anyway, I thought it would be cute. So I'll just show you how to do that. Pretty simple. Let's see, where was I? Right here, I think. I gotta find where I was. I think it's up here. Yeah, right there looks good. It doesn't really have to be um, just so. I mean, I could go down lower too. Maybe I'll do that instead. That's a nice clear spot. I could go down a little bit lower. It doesn't really matter. I just stagger them just to make it look cool, but you know, do whatever you want. You can make them all the way around the same. I'll bring you closer so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can hear me okay. The wind is blowing out here. So here's my hole that I started. There we go. There's my hole. I can fill those full of peanut butter and I think the birds are gonna love it. So, and you can make multiple. You could do one up here and one down here. Um, you know, there's one way up here, so you could do another one down here. There's a knot there, so I thought I wouldn't do that there, but you can do wherever, depending on how many birds you have. If you've got a lot of birds, I suppose you could do this for your chickens as well. You could put some treats in the holes and let them poke, you know, poke in and get them out. But this is gonna be for my wild birds. So um, next I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna change out my bit and put in my, you know, just drill in down underneath a little ways. I cut these dowels down. Probably they're a little long, but that's okay. Okay. 
I suppose I could go in further with my my drill bit. Oh, that one broke off. That's all right. Okay, one more, way up here. It's got a, got a knot right under it. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think you can. <clears throat> there. It kind of leans a little bit, but that's okay. I think it'll stay up. If not, I could put a little shim or something underneath it. But anyway, there's that. Okay, so the chickens are all over here because I've got all the little pieces of birch that I took out. They're all over the ground. They love the little white pieces. Okay, so I don't need this. So what I did was put, oh, about a half a cup of peanut butter in a solo cup. You know, whatever you got. And I've got a little baggie of a mixture of trail mix, bird seed, some old nuts, like a mixture of uh, mixed nuts and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to mix that into my peanut butter. Maybe not the whole thing. So I'm just going to mix in a little bit. And put it right into my peanut butter and mix it around. This is going to be messy. That way when they take a bite they get a little bit of seeds and they get a little bit of peanut butter. I think they're going to love it. We're going to check it out later and see. I'm going to put it out and see what we can see. All right. I didn't think about this. I should have brought another. I'm going to get my hands all yucky. What? You guys can't have peanut butter. Well, you could, but this is for the birds. The wild birds. All right. So I'm just going to stick it in the hole. There's that one. She just kept a little... Um, she just kept a little Tupperware container on her counter with it all made up because evidently she goes through a lot of it. They love it. The Blue Jays come. They love it. Okay. So just taking little spoonfuls and just pushing it in the hole. Pushing it way in there. But it keeps sticking to my finger, so it wants to come back out. There we go. All right. So there's that. See if you can see that in the little hole. Oops, I've got a big clump right there. They'll clean this all up. She goes through a ton of this, she said. So I thought it would be fun. She's got a lot more birds than I do, but maybe once the birds see this, they'll tell their friends and they'll all come have a little taste. So we'll stick this out and we'll see um, how it goes. See if they like it. Maybe we can get a video of some birds eating out of it. Gives you a little idea. Uh, Mary Vlogmas 26, the day after Christmas. Um, and I wanted to show you, I don't know if you all saw, and if you haven't, you can go check it out a couple videos ago, a little road trip Scott and I took uh, to, you know, just to take, go out and ride around. It was just getting too stressful at home with trying to wrap everything and bake and 
do everything that I needed to do. I just needed to get out and go for a ride. And it was a beautiful sunny day and I knew that we were gonna have a storm coming. So we've got uh, some wind, which is what's left over now. And we got a ton of rain. Um, and so I'm gonna show you a little clip of what it looked like before the storm that we had in a spot that we stopped at. It was beautiful, it was quiet. Um, the water was running beautifully, it was frozen. Uh, and that was, we had like 25 degrees. And when the storm came in, it warmed up and we had 52, 53 degrees and rain. And so we'll, I'll show you, the first clip is gonna be before the storm, and the next clip is gonna be the day the aftermath of the storm. So get ready for this, it's crazy. Okay guys, so what'd you think of that? Pretty crazy weather, huh? I can't believe that was all frozen over and so nice and quiet and serene. And then um, all that rain, it's crazy. So this is the day after Christmas. That was the day of Christmas. Uh, all that water uh, and the ice melting. The day after Christmas, it is about 34 degrees right now. The wind is still left over. It's chilly um, and the chickens are all out here with me. But anyway, I hope you like that little, that little bird feeder idea. It's just, I thought it was so cool that she did that and or had her husband do that. And I thought, well, I wanna try it. Um, and it can be made out of anything. Um, I, we had some birch that we had cut uh, that you can see in a previous video that was alongside our driveway that was bending over from a storm that we had from ice uh, leaning on them. And they're not very strong trees, so they bend right over as soon as they get any resistance at all. So uh, we cut those and we left the, some of the pieces down there. And so when I stopped down there today, I picked up a piece and I thought, you know, I'm gonna try that. I thought that would be pretty fun and to show you guys, you know, if you don't have a bird feeder, but you have a little peanut butter and even like cereal, Cheerios or Rice crisp. I don't know. I don't know what they eat, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind. Whatever. Um, guys, be nice. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. We wholeheartedly appreciate it. And uh, I think that's it for today. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.